What up everybody, Mark Fusker here from Behind the Green Screen, the channel where I cover every aspect of how I make my Wine World TV show. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends to do the same. That really helps the channel grow. To script or not to script? That is the question. Whether it's his nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of speaking what comes to mind, or take arms against the sea of oppressive scripts. Yeah, I'm no Shakespeare, but this is a valid question. Do you script your videos, storyboard them, jot some notes down, or just wing it? Or any combination or variation? For years, I just winged it. I may have done some research on a wine, but I didn't really have any actual notes to use. At some point, I would make notes in the Mac OS Notes app. And while that helped, I invariably would start rambling about something, then look something up while also recording, and that's not really good on a regular basis. When I rebranded the WWTV, I made a conscious decision to fully script every word for the first half of a review show. So I would do my research on the wine, collect website links, and then type out my thoughts. Many times I copy and paste the text from a winery's website or whatever's in Wikipedia. Now, there are some potential legal issues with it, but that's actually better suited for another episode, but they're pretty minor, honestly. Anyway, I don't always copy and paste, but sometimes the person who wrote the copy said it as well or better than I would. I almost always mention when I do this, and I try to limit how much, of a, how much I duplicate. Most of the time, I link to the sites that I reference, no matter if I copy and paste something from their site or just paraphrase it. When I would just write some notes, my shows were less organized, honestly, and I would tend to stumble on what I would say. I would constantly look away to read uh, something which breaks eye contact with the camera and ultimately the viewer. And with these notes, I wouldn't do thorough research, so I would waste my viewer's time with me looking things up. This is all because my normal way to do a show was to turn on the camera, do the show, and then stop recording. I would upload that as is with the very beginning and the very end edited out. Now I do several takes of sections of my pre-review. Uh, once I get into the wine, I don't cut anything out. It's intended to show that you are getting my first reaction to a wine, not referencing some tasting notes from someone else. Now, of course, I could have read them ahead of time and memorized them, but that's not how I work. At the end of Leet Wine TV, I looked for a way to use a teleprompter. There are a few solutions that use your smartphone or tablet as the teleprompter reflected off of a beam splitter, and then your, and then your, cam and your camera looks through that beam splitter. Sorry, I stumbled on that. This is how it's done in TV. The big issue for that is that I wouldn't be able to easily stop and start the scroll and continue the speed. There are some apps that listen to you speak and adjust as necessary. As great as that sounds, I know that with wine and all the non-English words, that might be difficult. Also, every one of those setups assumed that you're using a DSLR mirrorless camera or a camcorder. The baffle doesn't really work with a smartphone as your camera. So I looked for a different way to do it. I did find an app that works on macOS. It has a free trial too, and I used that and abused that free trial for months. I did buy it a few days ago, right when I bought the script. But this show isn't about isn't a review of that app. That's best for another show. The important part is talking about the advantage of using a script. Scripting everything out ahead of time means you have a more streamlined video. As long as you don't go off script, which I try not to do. Scripting also allows you to get your thoughts organized, especially if you are reviewing a product where you want to recap your experiences rather than just giving a first impression on the fly. One of the other things about scripting is that it's a great reference when editing. I also use my scripts to format information on a wine, and then I copy and paste that into one of the graphics I use. I also use that file to set my title, put my show links, description I'm going to use for the post, and all the tags I'm using. It improves my post-edit workflow. Everything is ready. Now, how to write a script? Well, I don't know if you could call me an expert on that, but I do follow a pattern for the most part with my wine reviews. First, I have an introduction. I basically say the same thing every time. I just copy and paste my intro into a new script. Number two, identify the wine or other product I'm reviewing. Three, talk about the history of the winery, its location, etc. Now, during this time, I usually have a Google Earth Pro movie showing 
where the winery is and doing some kind of flyover or panoramic view of the winery and its surroundings. Four, I talk about any other relevant info on the winery or the wine. Somewhere during three or four, I'll do my merchandise pitch, which I'm not doing here, but I do have t-shirts and polos and it'll be a link below. There you go, this is my pitch. Then I'll talk about the wine stats, the full name of the wine, the price, the grapes used, wine making techniques, etc. whatever whatever's important. During this part, I have a rotating bottle shot. Then I just do a review of the wine. This is totally unscripted. I don't pre-plan that part. And then when I'm done with it, I wrap up the show with a scripted outro. Like the intro, this is copy and pasted from prior ones. During the third and fourth parts, I try to tell an interesting story. Depending on the info and what I find on their website or any marketing material sent to me, I'll use their copy verbatim. Other times I'll paraphrase and condense. Also, during these sections, any additional pictures, graphics, videos will normally be added. Any additional commentary has also been scripted out. I do my best to not go off script. If I do, I really try to make it no more than a sentence or two, but sometimes it goes longer. For, for non-review shows or even something like this, I try to script out everything in a logical order. I start with the larger concept and then give specific examples to reinforce the main topic. If I'm demonstrating something, then I work it out in the script first. I'll then see how that matches when I'm demoing something before recording the video or while I'm recording the video or afterwards. And if I make adjustments, I'll have to make adjustments. A key to this is Reread your script a few times. Even speaking it out loud will help with seeing how it flows. I try to write how I speak, including any little asides I may normally do when talking. Does it make sense? Do you need to rewrite a portion of it? Rearrange sentences and paragraphs? Make corrections? And then does it make sense again? Once I've completed it, I'll either move on to the next script or stop writing for the day. I'll also come back the next day or a few days later to read the previous day's scripts. The goal here is to create an episode that is interesting, informative, and really entertaining. Since doing the scripting and everything else I include in it, my shows are more focused, and my workflow is more streamlined. In a future episode, I'll talk about my teleprompter setup. It works for me, and it didn't really cost me a lot of money. Actually, the most expensive part is the teleprompter software on my MacBook Pro, which I bought after writing this script because I kind of felt obligated to buy it since I've been using it for free all these years. Anyway, question of the day. So what do you do? Do you script it out, make notes, or just ad lib? Let me know in the comments. And that's gonna do it for today's show. If you're getting value from what I'm doing here, be sure to like and subscribe to the show, and I'll see you next time.